So let's bring in our 11 Alive political analyst now, Dr. Andre Gillespie with Emory University and GOP consultant Mike Hassinger. Let's keep talking about this pick. Now, Andre, when we we're looking at Kamala Harris, what kind of impact do you think it will have on Democrats as they um, maybe rally around more behind Joe Biden? Or do you see some fractures there in terms of people who wanted other people to, to make it onto the ticket? I suspect that most Democratic voters are going to rally behind this ticket, even if they would have preferred a different candidate. Um, and we know Harris wasn't necessarily the first choice amongst the most progressive uh, Democratic voters, but um, I find it hard to believe that those voters would, one, vote for Donald Trump, or that, two, that they would stay home, uh, just given their dissatisfaction with the Trump administration. So I think uh, in, in this race, at, at, at the very least, Joe Biden did no harm, and at best he can uh, shore up support and perhaps keep African-American voters excited. I would say given all of the hype and the discussion um, around Joe Biden picking a black woman um, to be his vice presidential running mate, if he had done something other than do that tonight, that that would have actually had a potentially demobilizing effect that could have crippled his campaign. Andre, there is that conversation, though, uh, with people who are disappointed in uh, Senator Harris's record as a prosecutor and that impact on African Americans and other minorities. How do you see that playing out as we move forward? Well, you know, this is something that she's going to have to work on and she's going to have to reach out to African American voters. Any uh, vice presidential candidate was going to have to work along with Vice President Biden to reach out to African American voters and to not take that very important constituency for granted. But picking somebody like Kamala Harris or if he had chosen Val Demings would actually blunt the law and order campaign that doesn't appear to have been working uh, for the Trump campaign. Um, it seems like they've kind of steered away from that in recent weeks in their ad campaign. So I think that that kind of ends the discussion that if there's going to be a discussion about criminal justice reform, somebody like Kamala Harris who has experience as a prosecutor might actually be able to reach out to people who are on the other side of this issue to be able to try to sort of forge an agreement about how to move forward. Mike, when we're looking at the response to this pick from the Republican side of things, we've already seen the nickname phony Kamala come out. What are you thinking uh, we're going to see from the GOP in response to this pick? Oh, I think it's entirely predictable. Uh, they're going to start with uh, her record, uh, as Andre just mentioned, the uh, of, of uh, prosecuting vigorously uh, minor drug charges in California that disproportionately affected um, uh, African Americans and people of color. Uh, they're going to start uh, uh, trying to assign nicknames and to uh, try to sort of pigeonhole in the voters' brains uh, what they need to remember about uh, Kamala Harris. Um, I don't know that it'll work. Um, this isn't 2016 anymore. Um, this is a very different dynamic. This is an era of negative partisanship. Um, Biden boxed himself in as far as uh, options go for a vice presidential pick during a debate where he promised that he would pick a woman. Um, and I, I, I'm going from memory here, but I want to say that the last poll taken before uh, Senator Harris dropped out of the presidential uh, race, she was polling in single digits, five, six, seven percent, something like that, among African American voters. So she wasn't the one who was exciting the voters, uh, uh, black voters, but black voters in South Carolina propelled Joe Biden back into the race, gave him a head of momentum, and he became the default nominee after the South Carolina primary. So it's not a question of black voters falling in line, it's a question of Joe Biden fulfilling his promise to the um, a, a very important block of Democrat voters, and, and those are African Americans. Mike, I'm also seeing people online already talking about a vice presidential debate between Senator Kamala Harris and Vice President Mike Pence. What are you expecting as we see those two uh, matched up? I would expect um, Senator Harris to be uh, dynamic and come out swinging, and I would expect Mike Pence to be as boring as dry toast, which has sort of been his trademark. Um, which one plays well with more with the voters? We'll just have to see. All right, Andre and Mike, thank you so much. We'll check back in with you in just a little bit as well.